So I can go to Amazon.com and buy a Bitcoin mining rig. Do you remember when Amazon was just a bookstore and you just buy books? Now, I mean, now you can buy anything. It's like the pharmacy of the world. Uh, but, but even Bitcoining mining machines, these are specially crafted computers that can do nothing but compute hashes, cryptographic hashes to, to somehow mint money. And I'm going to show you how. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is actually purchase it. So I've pulled up the ASIC Miner Block Eruptor Cube. It's a 30 giga hashing machine. Uh, it's $404, okay, fine, let's buy it. We'll click the one click purchase now button. Um, and Amazon, they, they've recently, uh, they have new patented technology, this is a real thing, uh, where they can estimate when you might order and they'll actually have what was that no way no way i got a cryptographic hashing machine for one brian Kluk, and uh amazon.com thought you might be out of toothpaste so here you go this is the first thing i'm excited about this is a power supply it is a mammoth awesome power supply so machines the mining machines they use a fair amount of power about as much as a computer but we're gonna have several of these connected at one time running all chugging away uh, so we want a good nice power supply so this is the Corsair RM850 it is a tank this is this is the last power supply you will ever need I mean with uh, power supply prices so low you really can't afford not to purchase this power supply um, it, this will, it's got a number of PCI Express uh, power jacks there, and it, it's pretty, I know. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna fire this up. All right, let's look at the block eruptor device itself. So this is a, a massive the computing machine. Uh, you've, you've got your chassis board with ethernet and, and power connections, but the, the magic is with these blades. I mean, I, I, I never thought I'd have a, a blade machine just running in my living room, uh, but it has six, six different blades, and uh, you, you can even pop them out, and they're all the same, uh, but each one has 16 different processors on it. They're actual computers. Computers built for the sole purpose of calculating cryptographic hashes. Um, so 16 per blade, six blades, that's 96 processors in this perfect little cube. So uh, let's go ahead and put it back together in its factory default position of not all over my living room. And let's see what it can do, huh? Don't break it, 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 don't break it. Don't break it. All right, now we're just gonna connect the power supply to the uh, mining machine. So we're gonna give it one, two PCI Express connections. And we're gonna do the connect us on the other end. I have lots of, lots of different spots to choose. Room for growth. And then uh, this is a magic bit here. So the power supply, it's used to powering a computer. It won't turn on unless you trick it to turn on. So there's a, uh, a jumpered, uh, it came with a thing, which is cool. Uh, it's good when things come with the stuff. Cause that's less, you know, so this is normally what goes to a computer, right? Like all this just for the jumper. All right, and uh, we need Ethernet, and then power. We're gonna we're gonna plug this guy in. Got power, and uh, there we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now here is the amazing thing with this power supply. Notice, it, when I posted to Reddit, I, I posted a picture of the rig, and people like, 
bull crap, it's not even running because I can see the fans staying still. Yeah, it, it doesn't actually even run the fan at low power level. So it, this thing is so quiet, um, I can't even hear capacitors or any of that like high-pitched whining. Um, this, this is making some noise, but it, it, perfectly uh, reasonable. Uh, this is cool. All right. The rest of the work you can do right out of your own web browser. So get comfy, put on some PJs maybe, uh, put on some nice music, make yourself a drink if you care. Uh, no, no judgment here. So what we're gonna do, first step, you gotta have a Bitcoin wallet. That's a place for your coins to go. Uh, I would recommend blockchain.info. Many to choose from, but you gotta set up your Bitcoin wallet. Step two, you need to set up a mining proxy server. Uh, I've got one, maybe we can use the flying Roomba cam uh, to show you it's on the back of my television. I'm using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, normally it just shows interesting things that I, I want on the TV, uh, but it can also, at the same time in the background, it's uh, proxying work order requests. So the uh, miners are kept busy and uh, coins are, are always being minted. Step three, you need to join a pool. So yay, pool, pool day. Uh, this is a place where you're gonna join other people working uh, to calculate these hashes. Uh, it, it's a much more efficient way to do things. They s slice out the work, give you a little portion of the pie to work on. Uh, you calculate those hashes and then they give you a payout corresponding to the amount of work you did. So it's a very fair system. Uh, some charge small transaction fees for the convenience, uh, but it's the way to go. So I recommend BTC Guild. Uh, that's where I've set up my uh, workers. And it's a pretty cool interface and lots of interesting charts and whatnot. Uh, but that brings us to the last step. Uh, we're gonna configure the miner through the web interface and we're just going to specify the IP address of our proxy server uh, here uh, at home and then we're going to put in the uh, credentials for the workers at BTC Guild and that is it. All right, now that that's all running, uh, you will be earning about $500,000 per second. So, uh, no, no. Uh, let's work through some of the math. I think that would be a good note to end on. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what numbers that I plugged into this profitability calculator. So a number of different inputs that are worth mentioning. Uh, the current Bitcoin dollar value is 850. Uh, if that goes up, Everything will go up if that goes down, everything will go down. So that's an important one. Uh, the hash rate, uh, the machine is advertised as 30 giga hashes per second, but with overclocking, uh, we can actually pull 37 giga hashes per second out. Uh, electricity, it's gonna vary by season. I'm gonna put in 27, 20 cents per kilowatt hour as an average, and our unit uses about 200 watts uh, a, uh, uh, of power. Now. Bitcoin is designed such that it becomes harder and harder to generate Bitcoins as time goes on. Uh, as more people are going to be hashing, uh, it actually becomes more difficult to perform the hashes themselves. So it's going, with our, our hardware that we have now, it's going to become less and less profitable as time goes on. Uh, so we, 0.61 is a uh, coefficient that will calculate that into it. So. Uh, if we calculate those figures, you'll see that it costs about a dollar a day to run the machine. Uh, it'll be generating about $7 a day. So uh, that's a $6 profit. Um, and uh, you, you see that with uh, the numbers above, it's actually going to, it's not gonna break even for 83 days. So, uh, but over the period of year, that's a nice profit uh, per machine. And, uh, you know, of course, this highly depends on the value of Bitcoin itself, either staying the same or going up. Uh, if, you know, if it goes to nothing, then you lose everything, of course. Uh, or you can convert your Bitcoins to dollars at any time. Uh, and that is it. Uh, one thing that I would recommend doing is take a $20 bill and put it into the, uh, the vent of the mining machine right before you go to bed. 
so that if you wake up in the morning, you'll the first thing you see when you're like, oh, oh, money has come out of the machine, you know, just use the same 20 bucks every night. It's fine. It's just a nice, it's a nice surprise. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please, everybody on the internet, feel free to tell me how I am wrong. Uh, you know, my ego's feeling good, so just take me down a notch if you like. And uh, good day.